Here comes a storm Here comes a storm What is up, Scarnite bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Emerald version episode 14. In the last episode, we took care of and finished off the roots, and we went inside the trick house, and like, he put trees there, cuttable trees, and then he complains about, why you cut my trees down? I don't know what the heck is going on, but uh, that guy is a bit insane. But yeah, in this episode, we're going to explore Mobville and then get started with the gym. So here we go. We're going to go in this episode, starting off just going over here. Just got to get ourselves a bicycle bike. Riding gravel and shake up your soul. Ride all cycles. Ride of cycles. Cycles ride. All right, so let me go talk to you first, sir. I'm learning about bikes while I work here. If you need advice on how to ride your bike, there's a couple of handbooks in the back. I'm sorry, you just go to the handbooks to uh, look at the two types of bikes that you could get offered. Well, well, what have we here? A most energetic customer. Me? You can call me Rydal. You may call me Rydal. I'm the owner of the cycle shop. Your running shoes. They're awfully filthy. Ew. Yeah, sorry, dude. I stepped on some gulp and dump. Did you come from far away? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, considering that I had to go all the way around instead of taking the shortcut through Vernon Turf Cave, then, yeah, or the Wismer Cave, or whatever cave it's called, I keep forgetting. So, yeah. Hmm, hmm. You're saying that you came all the way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to tell you, there are two kinds of bikes. There are the mock bike and the acro bike. The mock bike is for cyclists who wants to feel the wind with their bodies. And an acro bike is for those who prefer technical rides. I'm pretty sure I changed his voice. But you know what, this works for him. He sounds like he could be part of the Price is Right. Well, let's go down, Johnny. And, uh, yeah. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have any, whichever one you like. Which one will you choose, Mach or Acro? So for right now, I do want to pick Mach Bike, and you are able to switch back to Acro Bike. Just go talk to him, and he'll do that. So Stan chose the Mach Bike, and we have obtained the Mach Bike. And what else about the Mach Bike? Yeah, I put it in the key out in his pocket. If you get the urge to switch bikes, just come to see me. <laughs> All right, so. Just so you guys can see the bike itself, let's go to the key item pocket. It's, okay, I, I saw it. I thought there was one more going over, but nope. Alright. Mock bike, here we go. And it goes really, really fast and stuff. It's really awesome, but yeah. Um, let's go down uh, here at this house. And yeah. Oh, there's a TV on. I'll be on that for a second. Woo! I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy, but I find the sword's grating. I think I deserve a bit more respect. Like, maybe the Rock Smash dude. Woohoo! Anyways, the Pokemon look pretty strong. I like that. Here, take this hidden machine. He obtained the HM06. I don't know why I decided to give him that voice. Maybe because he says woohoo. That HM contains Rock Smash. If you come across large boulders that block a path, we'll use the HM move and smash them right away. Wait, what? Wait, no, I. Smite, smash them right. Oh, it's because I said smash them right away out of your way. Smash this right out of your way. Yes, sir. Smash rocks aside. I say, I don't know. If I could escape. Okay, let's just go to a. Uh, hopefully, somebody got that reference. It's a song, by the way. Well, yeah. You would probably. Oh, whatever. We are the Pokemon Fan Club. We're on the air. On this program, we get your opinions, and I shout them out on your behalf. Isn't it a fantastic program concept? No, it's 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 pretty. Mm. Today we bring you this report from our reporter, who we sent out to the Pokemon fan club. So, just who is today's featured Pokemon fan? Stan. So let's hear what Stan had to say about Kyle the Shroomish when he was the Shroomish, of course. This is when I was in Slateport, and you know this. Pokemon fan club, and I will shout those words of love out of loud on TV. Hoo-ha! Let's shout. We asked Stan, 
When you first laid eyes on your shroomish, what was your initial thought? DESTROYED! Yeehaw, that's a mighty fine shout! Doesn't it bring back memories of those days long gone by? You know, when I destroyed zigzag goons with critical hits and the mud kips? Or no, they were worm pulls. Either way, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about! Hmm. Oh, there's a still more. Let's check it out. Let me see now. <laughs> That's a very terrible news report. It was like, oh, let me check my notes. I mean, I do that all the time, but I'm not a news reporter. I'm just a commentator. But yeah, Sam, what do you think? What what blue Pokemon meant to you? Okay. Push dog! Yeah! So yeah, I didn't. I wasn't really that clever with it. I mean, I can't even consider this clever. I just saw something, I kind of giggled, and I just clicked on it. Bravo! That's the best shot I had all day. Push dog! It makes you want to shout it loud again and again. Now that we had a great show, it's nice to say goodbye until next time. So let's all have one last shout all together now. Push dog! Yeah! No, this is a very, very terrible show concept. Because if I put uh, cherries or something, they're gonna shout cherries. If the I don't know, this is stupid. You know it's cool to have Pokemon battle and stuff, but if your Pokemon gets hurt, you have to nurse it back to health. Okay. I'm trying to read much, much better. I, I don't know if I'm succeeding or not. Hi, do you check out TV at all? They're, they've added a bunch of cool new shows recently. TV is so cool. I've seen my friends on TV just out of the blue. And sometimes they even put you on TV without telling you. I wish I would be on TV sometime. That's why I think you should check out TVs whenever you can. Okay, cool. Yeah, because it really bothers me when I read incorrectly, because in my Let's Plays, it happens so often, it's annoying. Alright, so this guy, remember to go to Slateport, and if you got that harbor mail, this is the point where you could get something for it. If I had a bike, it's, it would be easy. Is there a girl? I can't tell. If I had a bike, it'd be easy to cycle to Slateport for some shopping. I'd be able to buy harbor mail at the Pokemon in Slateport. Oh, you have a harbor mail? Will you trade it for my coin case? Oh, I'm so happy! Okay, I'll trade you a coin case. And we obtained the coin case. Of course, the coin case is used for the game corner, which is in this town, which is awesome. That coin case can be used at the game corner. Thank you, I just explained that. You got some nice uh, trees. Or, you know, like some nice plants. And a very nice window with a very nice thing. You got a nice house. But not a very nice bed, because there's no bed. Where the heck do you sleep? Do you sleep on the plants? Do you sleep on the table? Where do you sleep? Maybe she just sleeps on the ground. Is it even a person? Is it a guy or a girl? Uh, okay, let me do a side view. I can't tell. I'm gonna say it's a guy and I just use a girl voice on him. I mean, a lot of people say it sounds like a little boy. But either way, let's go in the Pokemart. Let's go in the Pokemart, man. Welcome. How am I? So have you. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. First, let's sell items. That way I can see what I have. Um, so let's go to... I could sell TMs, I don't feel like it, to be quite honest. I got plenty of potions. Um, uh, I really don't care for ethers. I mean, yeah, they're hand, they're handy, but that's a very rare occasion. And I do have soda pops, and I do have five super potions. So I guess I could just sell items. Not necessarily I don't have to buy anything. I don't need this orange mail. Elixir... Thank you. Oh, no, no, not the rare candy. Oh my gosh, I panicked. Alright, no. Hang on, hang on. XP, let's sell this. Um, and, uh, and by the way, I, I don't use rare candies right off the bat. I save them for right before the Pokemon League. That's what I always do. Because since it's, uh, the beginning of the game, like, let's say you're, you're training, like, level 2 Rattata. Uh, it'll be just easier just to train at level 3 instead of using the rare candy, so... It, it, when you're in a later level, like level 99 to 100, that's a very vast experience bar. So that's why I always, um, that's why I always tend to do that at the end of the Pokemon League. But the Paralyzed Fuels, I recommend that you buy a good amount because this gem is of the Paralyzation, if you know what I mean. It's not really a hint hint, it's kind of obvious where I'm going with this. But yeah, I'm just buying potions. Uh, I'll just buy five more super potions, even though I have soda pops. To be quite honest, I didn't remember about them. Let's buy ten more Pokeballs, though. Even though I got 41. But you know what? 
Like I said, you can never be too safe. And we'll throw in a premier beer. A premier beer. This is by... Nine, nine, nine sounds good. I just want to have it at even 20. Anyway, um, let's go to the game corner. I'm just going to explain something right quick about it. Alright, so let's go over there. This is the place spot for all. Marvel game corner. Let's do it. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Okay. It sounds like I said coincide. Um, anyway, if you talk to some people, they actually would give you coins. My look can only last so long. This is too much for me. Here, take some coins. Yeah, my has something for everything. For me, it's a game corner. He's a gambler. <laughs> the roulette table has different rates. Check your coins if you're going to pick a tail. This roulette thing is rather demanding. Win or lose is only by luck. Okay, it's up to you. Coins are needed to play here in the game corner. I might as well talk to him. It's very difficult to make it stop right on 7. If it stops on 7 during the real time bonus game, you'll receive extra coins. I made a mistake. I got two of the same doors. Would you like one of them? Oh, sure. Here you go. And we obtained Mudkip Doll. Nice. So, uh, depending what star you choose, they'll give you that plushy doll. So, yeah. There's a prize I want, but I can't win the jackpot! It's easy to lose track of time in here. I should go back to work. Here's some information for you about the slots. The more lightning bolts you stock, the more real-time chances you get. In a game with the maximum of five real-time chances, it's possible to receive four regular bonuses and a big bonus. That would be a total of 660 coins, but it's very difficult to get. And one more guy. I thought I was... Mm, whatever. Up to three coins can be used to play the slots. Alright. So, uh, let's just buy a couple... This is Marvel Game Corner. You're you looking for coins? Um, let's buy 50. I'm not even. Eh. All right. Welcome. You can exchange stuff for prizes. So I'll just put the annotations on the screen right now. Uh, but yeah, I only know two. I I, I think this is Hyper Beam. I'm assuming. And this is. I want to say a normal type move. Of. I don't know, but I know for a fact this is Ice Beam, this is Thunderbolt, but you could get these. Um, this might be Fire Blast, actually, and then this might be Hyper Beam. And what the heck is this? Either way, this is where you get them. And not only that, if you go right next to it, you could actually win some plush dolls. Oh, I guess it's just a few. I thought, I guess, maybe it's some other place I'm thinking of. Yeah, it is. Um, so yeah, you could get the Trick or Torchic or the whatever starter you chose in the beginning. But yeah, let's just go do real time. I'm gonna go, um, let me choose, um, yeah, I'm gonna choose you. Alright, so, uh, here it goes. You see the blue line in the middle where it says 1? That means it only will go in the middle. If you get 2 coins in there, everything on the reel that's horizontal. And the 3, everything that follows on the line diagonally, will happen if you put in 3 coins. So let's just put in 3 coins, because I don't want to re just rely on the middle part. So, uh, yeah, you see that Pikachu bolt thing? That's what they were talking about. Because there's, like, a black bar on the top. Uh, if you manage to get... Uh, three in a row of bolts, then uh, a little yellow lightning bolt will fill in into that black bar. And if you get it all the way across, you will manage to get uh, this. I don't know, there's got to be a special song about this. So I didn't really see how many um, credits I got for that. I, I didn't pay attention. It was seven. So if you get three seven cents, uh, seven cents, I said. If you get three sevens, obviously you get the the big jackpot. I think it's just 100 though. And we got low Ted. So I'll just try 10 times because I really don't want to be here the entire time. So far I did. I, I was doing pretty good already. I mean, see, look, I'm getting low Tads and stuff. Uh, I think that was six credits if I remember. If I saw that. Um, I just want to get at least one more, uh, different character, but let's just do a 10 tries. Uh, this is going to be 10. Oh, wow. Okay, this is 9 then. Hey, we got Azuro! Was that 12? Okay. Uh, 8. 
okay. I really want to show off the bolt thing. I don't think I'll be able to in this episode. Um, but in a future episode, I'll show what happens if we get all the straight sevens, because I'm not going to stay here until I do. Because that will be... It, it won't be an eventful episode at all. But I chose to do this instead of the gym. Or if I have a long episode where most of it is just me doing this. Um, but yeah, it won't be long. Uh, I was hoping for the bolts, but I got a replay. I lost my count. I think I got like six tries left. Uh, five. <laughs> I need to stop getting replays. Okay, I about to say, I, I, I thought as I say that, I was gonna get it. If I get below 50, then I'll stop. How about that? Instead of just the one more tries left. Okay, well, I think it's gonna happen anyway. Oh, I have a big chance of doing this. <gasps> oh. Okay, last try. I think. Oh no, one more try, one more try. <laughs> I say that, and then two hours later, oh, one more time. Okay, no, I'm leaving. Yeah, let's quit. Okay, so let me show off the next uh, game over here. This one, uh, it'll be so much easier if you know how to, if you know your probability really well. But the way it works, you know, you can either choose between Why Not, Azuro, Skitty, and Makuhita. But if you choose like this, every Why Not right there, will give you a total of just, I think, four coins, because it says times four. But if you choose all yellow, all green, and all purple, uh, that will give you times three, apparently. So you just three coins, because there's more options. You know, there's four options, four possibilities, instead of just the three with why not. Uh, or you could just pick one specifically. So I'll just do that specifically. I like Skitty, so let's just do Skitty. Let's go, and then whatever the ball lands on will be the one that select. Oh my god, I thought I had it. I was close. Alright. Nothing doing. That, that's not grammar. Alright, whatever. Why not? Let's go with purple. Purple. Uh, no. Dang it. I'm getting the right color correctly. Okay, so this is where the probability kicks in, because you could go all yellow since... You know, all the other ones has, like, uh, I, I don't know, I suck at percentages when it's, like, at the moment, because I just set myself up to fail. Um, so no, it was blue. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing yellow. And I'm just gonna do this until the card's finished, because eventually the card is gonna be no more. Oh, you suck. Alright. How about this? Let me let me use all why nots then. Why not? It has to be why not. God dang it. All the skitties are dead. Um Let's keep going with all why nots. Did I pick all the color ones yet? Oh I win! And I win full coins. It's a hit! I know it's a hit. You just give me the coins. Give me the credits. Oh yeah, it is four coins. And the relay board has been cleared. Okay, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep playing. But yeah, that's essentially what it is, and that is essentially what it's gonna be. As ought to be. But yeah. Um, let's go over here to the Pokemon. Hey, it's Wally. I'll be right there, Wally. He seems like he likes that door a lot. You know, the gym leader door. He's like, man, this is awesome. Uh, let's go to the Pokemon Center, and here we go. What's that orange guy doing? I kind of want to go talk to him. Hang on. Let's go talk to you. Hey, yo, they call me the hipster. I'll teach you what's hip and happening. Hey, have you heard about hassle? What does it mean? What it mean? Well, uh, ask your mom, daddy or mommy, okay? Okay. I'm just leaving. <laughs> Alright, so let's go talk to you. Wait, do I have... Oh, yeah, let's just keep whatever. It's because of Pokemon this boy's got more pep, I suppose. But he's become a bit too peppy. What's with this pep talk? Oh, Uncle, please! I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I become. Please, may I please? Now hold on, Wally. 
Since you started living with Pokemon, you have grown quite a lot stronger. But don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces with the Brawls, we can beat anyone. Oh, hi, Stan. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Stan, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Stan, please, will you have a battle with me? Let's do it. Stan, thank you. Okay, here I come. Alright, so, it's gonna be Stan versus Wally. And he mentioned he already ha he still has his Ralts. And it's kind of surprising because, to be honest, I mean, the rival in this game, which is Mei, and like, two episodes ago, has her ace Pokemon at level 20. Except, Ralts is level 16, and he just has the one Pokemon. And, you know, Ralts evolves at level 20, so... I would have rather preferred if I bought the Curlia. Because, really think about if you played this game before, just in the, you know, what happens in the future. You see where I'm going with this, about Ralts, you know. I'd rather see Curlia um, here instead of just Ralts. But I understand, they want to have a very weak match. Um, I'll probably um, talk about it in the future though. By the way, speaking of, um, I'm not gonna talk about typings today because it is a gym episode, so I'm just gonna avoid that and save it for the next episode. Uh, hopefully he doesn't kill me. I think he might. Don't kill him. You suck. You suck, sir. You suck. You suck. I'm talking about Wally. <laughs> Headbutt. And he's dead. I was hoping the Nkata would kill him. I should've known. I was thinking about using Flash, but I didn't want to waste my time with it. I just wanted more health. So I defeated Pokemon Trainer Wally. I lost. You dang straight you lost. Uncle, I'll go back to Burning Turf. Stan, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough to just have a Pokemon and make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Wally, there's no need to be so down on yourself. Why, what's keep you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Stan, it's just dawned on me that you must be a trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Vernon Turf sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. Okay, cool. Oh look, <laughs> it's Scott. <laughs> I was watching that match. Stalker! Oh no. Alright. You're friends with that boy Wally, aren't you? But you didn't hold back. You didn't hold anything back. Uh, but you didn't hold anything back and beat him impressively. Yeah, that's what a real Pokemon battle is all about. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be training for you. See, that's what I was talking about with my freaking reading problem. I don't know. I'm just very, very bad at that. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna go in the Pokemon Center and then I'll be right back. Alright, so now let's go check on the gym leader. Let's see, who is this gym? Who does this gym belong to? Model City Pokemon Gym Leader Watson, the cheerfully electrifying man. Alright, well, let's br just bring it on, man. I'm not scared of no punk. Alright. Hey, how's it going, Champ Bounce Stan? Watson, the leader of Marvel Gym, uses electric type Pokemon. If you challenge him with water type Pokemon, he'll zap them. Psst. And he's putting switch control doors all, doors all over this gym. Eccentric. Hey, go for it. Alright, let's go do this thing. We got ourselves a double battle that I select the right Pokemon. No, he's level 25. That's a shame. <laughs> Only because I just feel bad about this thing I was talking about in the last episode. With my charm and my Pokemon moves, you'll be shocked! My electric soul, it'll shatter your dreams whole. Whoa, yeah! So, uh, these trainers, they won't really seem like they're really all that electric type specialists, you know, aside from the Kataras, of course, but there, you're gonna see other trainers and then certain Pokemon, like, for example, Metatite. I don't think he could even learn a, uh, an electric type move besides, like, Thunder Punch or something. But, uh, yeah, that's a bit weird to me. I'm gonna just leech life and I'm gonna just much shot the electric and that should be it. Of course he detects, which is fine, I guess. 
I just want Token to get the experience. I was hoping that Token uh, would kill Ralts, but it was six levels higher. And now it would be five levels higher. Again, I feel bad for not getting that item that I mentioned. I was like, oh no, I always see Let's Players go get it. And uh, I really should have gotten it. But at, at the same time, I would have not changed it either way, even if I saw this coming. I mean, I wish I could have trained them sooner. Um, like in the beach at least. Because I was, you know, in the, in the... What's that place called again? The Seashore Shack. Like, I could have trained them there. I could have trained them on the beach. I could have... I mean, I could have trained them on the way towards the Trick House. I could have fought him with Team Aqua, and then probably he would have been more caught up. But I started training him um, last episode. Um, he did leash like that, didn't he? Oh jeez, I need to take him out now. Let's do much shot. Come on, take him out before he's gonna do some serious damage on somebody. Okay, good. There we go. And one more Pokemon, and it is another Metatite. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Metatite. Okay, so let's just do another Leash Life, and let's do a much Shot. A much Shot. It's, it lived, wow. Well, at least Token is gonna finish it off. Well, I live Meditate. The Meditate's meditating. And there we go. Alright, so Minita is taken out. Battle Girl Vivian and Guitarist Kirk was defeated. Were defeated by by the player. I'm shocked by your power. I'm shocked by your power! That was plugged in, amped up, overdrew electric man. Alright, so uh, obviously these switches would actually affect the gym. So uh, this is gonna be electric gates all over the place. And I. Uh, If you were to cross right here, he would just block you, so... I guess... This gym got puzzles, isn't it fun? Alright, so this is one of the trainers I was talking about. Because, uh, you know how I said the Metatite? Well, this guy has a zigzag gun. I have a token, and I definitely need to switch out here. Uh, I keep forgetting that that's not the Pokemon part. Pokemon's down here now. I'm not used to that. I really am not. I'm used to the Pokemon selection thing to be on the right and the back on the bottom. Okay, so uh, let's just do a mud shot since we know that takes him out pretty well, you know? It's, it's pretty well. Alright, critical hit. I think I saw critical hit at least. I kept getting distracted because my freaking head says hitting along my chair and I don't know why. Maybe because I'm swinging my head or something. Anyway, um, here comes a gold pin. Let's go switch back into token. And here we go, gold pin. Okay, amnesia. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, sorry if uh, the commentary is off. It's because ever since my headset just knocked on my chair, I just, for, for no reason, started zoning out and daydreaming about stuff. I do apologize. Because uh, when I got back into consciousness when I saw Amnesia, I'm like, oh, right, I'm in an episode. I apologize. I really am sorry. Um, no. Hopefully that didn't last too long of me just just blank it out because I don't know how I, long I did that for. It's no fun to lose. Alright, so let's just do this thing. Um, do I have the correct Pokemon? Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. Actually, no, it does matter because I still want Kyle to be first here. So I'm going to level 12. That's alright, I guess. Let's go do this either way. I love shiny things. I trained under Watson. There ain't no way I'll lose easily. So this is gonna be the first time we've ever seen a bug maniac. At least 
if uh, if you're like me and didn't go to the route that's in the left because I didn't go there <laughs> or else you would see the bug mania because they are you know available right now to battle but yeah it's interesting nonetheless I always the first time I saw bug maniac I thought it was really really cool um, I don't know what to do about neither of you I guess we could just... Illumise is kind of dangerous. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. There's like different... It could be Illumini... Uh, Illumise or... But I always pronounce it Illumise. Because it's like a love bug and I just assume it's... Uh, I don't know. Because, you know, the name comes from Illuminate. So it's Illumi Illumise. Except to say it doesn't make sense, I guess. How did that cut not kill him? Like, really? I know for a fact people are just gonna correct me in the future. It's go like it's called Illumina or something. A mini me be be di di di. A mini me di 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 di. A mini me di 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 di. It's still alive. What the heck? Why? 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 All right, mock punch because it is a steel type. It's a steel electric type. So this would do great damage. And there we go, Magnemize down. <laughs> Very delayed. Critical hit, man. I can't believe that cut was that weak. Alright, well, there's one more Pokemon, and that is a full beat. Alright, um, I guess just cut it. I'm just gonna try a head, <laughs> head punch. It's not head punch. Head butt. Oh, please go let crit. Ah, uh, no. You need a crit. Quick attack. No, don't die. See, that's the damage you need to be doing. So, like I mentioned earlier, like, the whole reason why I have token, because I already said it in Beyonds ago, since I caught him, that he's just going to be a momentary team. Momentary team member, I should say. Guitar Sean and the Bug Maniac. Angelo, I want to say? I don't know if it's Angelo. I doubt it is. It doesn't seem like a bug maniac name. Unplugged and turned off. Uh, but I wanted to use Nankata so I could just show him off because the evolution is interesting. But, uh, actually, let me go uh, meet you at the gym leader and then I'm gonna. Um, and then I'm gonna go cut away because I need to go use my Pokemon. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back and let's go do this thing. Uh, maybe not the best idea to start with Ninkata, but regardless, let's go do this thing. I have given up my plans to convert the city I have. And so I put my time into making door traps in my gym. Oh, now what are you doing here? What's that? You say you've gotten pads on my rigid doors? <laughs> oh, that is amusing. Now, then I, Watson, the leader of Marvel Gym, shall electrify you! I like Watson. I don't know, he's a very, very happy dude. Very jolly, I like him. So let's go do this thing. It's Voltorb. He can't exactly do anything to me, except roll out over time or do a, a lot of damage, so... I kinda... This is Flash on because there's nothing else he could do. As long as he keeps missing those rollouts, I should be good. So, I'm just gonna do two more flashes. Um, regardless, I need to go talk about the Pokemon right quick as I'm just doing all that. Alright, so Watson in the Ruby and Sapphire version has a totally different team than what he does in the Emerald version. So, uh, he still has the Voltorb, except, you know, the ability in the Ruby and Sapphire version is static. But the moves are Spark, Sonic Boom, Rollout, and Self-Destruct. But that's again, is only for the Ruby and Sapphire version. In the Emerald version, instead of Sonic Boom, he would have Shockwave. And not only that, I'm about to die. Hang on. I don't think I should even bother with that. Since that is still doing... Uh, which one should I choose? Let's go Kyle. Since it is fighting type, Rock is not going to be effective. Except it's going to do a lot of damage. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Um, the ability in the, uh, Emerald version is soundproof. 
But yeah, Shockwave is the replacement of Sonic Boom, is what I wanted to say. And, uh, Mega Drain. Alright, I should just do a headbutt, I guess. And there it is, there's Shockwave. Shockwave is the special move, um, is the, uh, the signature move, I should say, for the gym. And there we go, we took it out of a headbutt. Alright, so the next Pokemon is Electrike. Um, alright. Okay, car. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna give Token some experience right now. And Electrike. Okay, so for Electrike, I think he does just have three Pokemon, if I'm sure. If not, then I'm not gonna say anything. But Electrike uh, has the moves Quick Attack, Leer, Howl, and Shockwave. So I'm just gonna go switch into Cartman right really quick. He's probably got a Quick Attack or Howl or something. I don't know. Either or. Either or, either or. Mini Mo, Mini Mo. Tomato, Tomato, Avocado, Avocado. What was the other one? I forgot. Potato, Potato. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so Magneton. Oh, did I even mention the ability? Well, I think all electrics have static. Or is it. Right, I think so, I believe. Anyway, Magneton, it used to actually be um, his ace Pokemon. Which is a bit weird. And his levels changed as well. In the. Uh, in Ruby and Sapphire, he used to be level 23. However, in the Emerald version, as you can see, he's level 22. The moves he, or the ability he has is Magnapool. The moves he has is Shockwave, Thunder Wave, Supersonic, and Sonic Boom. And his moves has not changed. I don't know what he missed. I'm assuming Sonic Boom, since he can't hit me with a Thunder move. Or Supersonic, potentially. I didn't see, because I was just looking. Dynamanuts. 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 Yeah, I'm assuming it's supersonic. Okay, well this is off to a great start. Please don't hit yourself, Cartman, if you lose. Oh, that's something I could talk about. So, the very first time I played Emerald version, I fell. Oh god, I killed him. Well, then again, he is quite effective. Token's level 14. But the very first time I played Emerald version, for whatever reason, I decided to uh, let my uh, family member do all the. Um, I'm not gonna let him do it. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Fury Slap just attacks two to five times, and it can be stronger than a, a cut, I guess. But, mm, no. Manectric is the next Pokemon. Alright, uh, before I continue with my story, I'm just going to talk about main egg trick. But the other Pokemon that I didn't mention that he does have in the Ruby and Sapphire version is Magnemite. He has the ability Magnet Pool, Thundershock, Thunder Wave, Sonic Boom, and Supersonic. I think those are... No, I was going to say they're all the same moves as Magneton, but no, the difference is uh, Thundershock and Shockwave. Anyway, let's go do a Mud Shot. He's going to do a Howl, that's completely fine. This is what I was talking about, and this was what I was nervous about, uh, leaving the, uh, the level of course I missed. Why not? Oh, you're setting up on me. This is bad. Um, I should talk about my nature now. I almost forgot. Quick Attack, Thunder Wave, Howl, Shockwave. But the ability static, I'm still assuming. And he does have a Citrus Berry, so he's about to use it right now. Uh, Citrus Berry heals 30 HP. Um, but the story I was gonna say is, I let my family member... As just tell me commands and uh, to fight this gym leader and I actually ended up losing it's oh don't die I can't believe I lost against them and I had pretty much the same Pokemon the only difference I had was um, Marsh Stomp well no uh, well I was explaining my team Marsh Stomp, Bloom and Mydiana I think but either way we defeated Watson I'm pretty sure nobody doubted me on losing to him because I have three Pokemon that resist thunder. So yeah, you end up giving me a thrill. Take this badge. Maybe I would have lost if um 
if Marshawn was not there anymore, because Berlin would have probably had an issue. But yeah, we got ourselves the... I don't remember the badge. Is it just the bolt badge? Dynamo badge, right. The bolt badge is fourth generation. Dynamo badge! With the Dynamo badge, Pokemon can use Rock Smash out of battle. And will you, uh, it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster too. <clears throat> you should take this too. And we obtained Team 34. But yeah, I actually lost this match, my very, very first time playing, only because my family member told me the wrong things to do. Around that time, like I, you know, he overheard me last time when I talked about it, and he said, dude, that was a noob back then. Now, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, to be honest, he was kind of a noob back then. He's a lot better in Pokemon now. That TM34 there contains Shockwave. It's a trustworthy move that can never miss us. You can count on it. And he's gonna add me and the Pokenav. Register Jim Leader Watson and the Pokenav. Uh, hooroo! Okay. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, <laughs> I almost forgot some stuff here and there. But yeah. Whoa, you're electrifying. You powered the door open. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. So if you like this episode, don't forget to press the like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. And White Tigers and Dragons too.